there is evidence that the Prophet ﷺ to further compound and emphasize the fact that he refers to washing the feet and not wipe it, meaning washing the bare feet and not wiping their fe- bare, bare feet is the fact that the Prophet ﷺ would always wash his bare feet. If he was ever in bare feet and he was about to make wudu, if he was in bare feet, he would always wash his bare feet and he would never ever wipe over his bare feet. And he would, uh, and he would not wipe over them unless he had been wearing or he, has, he was wearing socks or leather socks or shoes for that matter. So, this is refutation of course of the Shia from one aspect who wipe over the bare feet. It is a refutation of the Hanafis who blindly follow the Madhab even though the Hadith are in their hundreds wherein it is reported that the Messenger of Allah and the Sahaba radiallahu anhum would wipe, would wipe over their footwear whether it be socks or whether it be shoes. Whether it be leather or non-leather. So you find that the Hanafis come along and they say no. Every single time that you are going to make wudu, then you must take off your socks, you must take off your shoes, and you must wash. Even though you put on those shoes in a state after washing your feet in the first place. And you never took them off thereafter. They will still demand that you take off your shoes, even if you're upon a journey. And this is of course the madhab of the Hanaf, uh, of the, of the Ahnaf or the, or the Hanafiya or the Hanafis that they hold that and, and if you go to their masajid anywhere in Birmingham or anywhere in the world for that matter you'll find quite often that they will have upon, the, upon their doors that no socks or shoes allowed into the wudu area. Why? Because they demand and they make it a rule in their masjid that you cannot make wudu except that you take off your socks. And this of course in it Self is a bid'ah. Because now they have made the wiping of the socks something forbidden. And they have made wiping of the leather socks forbidden. Wiping of the shoes forbidden. Sometimes, even when you give them advice and you advise them with that, they say, oh, that's only for the leather socks. You say to them, okay, if I get you the leather socks, will you wipe over them? They say no. So they try to bring an argument that it is only for the leather socks, which is batil anyway. Because the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa in, this, in, the, in the arena of the maqasid of the sharia or the goals of the sharia, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam did not restrict the wiping to only leather. It is to any form of footwear. Why? Because what is the intent of the wiping? He tells you. It is rukhsa. Ease. Allowance. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given an allowance and an ease in this affair. So that's the intent. So the intent here is not the type of footwear. The intent is here that the ease is given for wiping over that footwear. And of course, the condition being that when you put that footwear upon your feet, that your feet had already been washed. Then you place on the footwear. And then if you break the wudu by visiting the bathroom or other than that, from those affairs that break the wudu, such as breaking wind or urinating or defecating, relieving oneself, or the passing of, of, uh, of uh, pre-seminal fluid, or for that matter, eating camel's meat, then all of these affairs break the wudu, or touching the private parts in the flesh with desire, then all of these break the wudu. But so long as your footwear remained on, from the time that you washed your feet in wudu, and you did not remove that footwear, then so long as you enter into a state of minor hadath, lesser uh, uh, ritual impurity, then it is permitted for you to make wudu and not wash the feet, but wipe over the feet one day for a resident and up to three days for a traveler in the most correct opinion and that which is based most closely upon the sunnah. So the Hanafis in this regard, that if they, uh, when they fall into that which they fall into, have in fact contradicted the sunnah of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, those muqallidun mutasibun to the hizb, and their, and their tahazzub and their partisanship to their sect. 